It's called Dig School. Um, and if people would like to go and have a look at it, uh, the website is www.digschool.org. Um, and that will be live from Monday. Um, and it's for schools. So if you've got a child who's in school, secondary school kids, mainly 10 to 15 age group. Um, and people can deliver their own sessions. People can do it at home. They're teaching their kids at home as well. What, what, what's made you think we've got to do this? We've got to get this done now. Well, the immediate thing was when, obviously, as the COVID-19 epidemic spread, um, you know, the realisation this was really going to be a serious thing. When they shut the schools, I remember thinking, what are they going to do with the kids who are coming in? Because they had this sort of small bunch of kids whose parents are key workers or kids that are vulnerable and need to be in school. And I was thinking, what are you going to do with this sort of random bunch of kids from different classes and different ages and different friendship groups and different aptitudes. Um, and I spent years at Cambridge running projects, getting kids from all sorts of different backgrounds out, out digging in just two days, you know, never mind the three from time team. Um, and, and I thought, well, could we possibly try and do something that would mean the schools could have something fun and engaging, but also that was also good for learning, would develop skills and an interest in knowledge and education. Could we do something like that to help? So we've been working at absolute breakneck speed for the last three weeks. I only had this idea three weeks ago. We need to get it ready to launch next week because that's when turns starting again, really to put all the sort of programs that I ran from Cambridge and, and Lincoln, where I've been working in the university sector, but with schools and communities, to put that online so that people can download packages and can deliver some of the experience of that, of that taking some evidence and puzzling it away and thinking about what it means and how things change and what that tells us and why that's important, that people can do that in schools and have something that's fun during the COVID crisis, which is not much fun for anybody apart from that. Um, so we just want to try and help. And, you know, as an archaeologist, what can you do?